What is going on guys? Go shirt today. We are back. I'm just spraying off the old first gen because we actually have to use it today. Uh, well, I mean, I I really don't have to. But I haven't really drove in a while and yeah, I, I've been driving like the uh, third gen and of course, uh, actually even in the Ford and of course the, the other Ford. But today we're going to be doing this. We have, go ahead and jump in and crank it up. We actually have well, if my computer would load, we actually have some uh, orders today. We, we got some appointments. We got a ton of appointments that we got to do. Um, the Forerunner, we're still waiting on the lift for it and everything. But these have parts and stuff that have come in. I'll go over them later on. But today, we actually have some orders. We actually had two orders come in. Um, now, these are like job orders, so I can, you know, we can go out and, you know, if we have to fix something. Or haul something now this I think this one came in first is for uh, a monkey shifter um, 2919 Dodge Ram transmission went out uh, need to the shop so basically we got to go pick up this truck and bring it back to the shop and then apparently they're gonna place order to have transmission replaced and we'll just replace it and fix it from there so we're gonna go ahead and set that drop job and put in route and let's go ahead and hook to the trailer now I got a little bit more info about this apparently it's uh, like it's parked under an underpass the transmission just went out completely but from what I heard a guy was trying to do burnouts and that kind of went downhill do I need to feel like that might be live all right well We'll try it right there. Anyways, we're, we're going to go pick it up. Been a Dodge fan. I could not pick up a Dodge without having, uh, you know, pick it up with Ford. I just couldn't do that. Or Chevy. I have to take a Dodge to pick up a Dodge. I just, I just, I have to. But anyways, we're going to go get this, bring it back to the shop. So this will be just a little, just a real nice day. Um, and then we have another order that we'll have to take care of. I think we'll take this way. It looks like it might rain today. It's, it's, this morning it was kind of a little foggy. And of course, it, anytime I have to do something outside, it always rains. Man, it's been so long since I drove this truck and I absolutely love it. Ain't nothing like the classics. I'm thinking about actually maybe getting me a dually to start pulling the trailer with. That way we have it and everything. Uh, I actually have a really nice uh, uh, second gen uh, flatbed Cummins at the shop that we have to do some work to, but it ain't mine. It would be perfect for a pulling truck, but we'll just have to keep our eye out and see if we can find anything. Okay, so they said, I, I told them where my shop was, and they're like, oh yeah, you should go out to the freeway, take a left, and it should be like one of your first exits that's supposed to be parked under like an underpass. So, we're going to try to find it. Alright, I think we're coming up to our first like exit here. Now, there is a bridge in front of us over there, so I'm thinking this might be the spot, not for sure. Man, this truck suspension is so special. Bungie. It's like, I like it, but man, it's like, look at that. It's, oof. Alright, got a car coming. Now, this is supposed to be under underpass. I'm thinking it might be over there. If not, we'll go on to the next exit, but they said it was going to be the first exit, so. And that's probably it. Now, say the transmission went out, but it was probably somebody was trying to do a burnout or something. There's always a reason, and if they did a burnout on this thing, holy crap. Look at the, the back tires ain't even under the truck. That thing is a monster. Like, I'm hoping it will actually even fit on my trailer. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it's supposed to have the keys under the back wheel or over here. Good. Look at that. It's like they don't even need. Oh, God. It's like they're, this rim right here needs to be like way under here. 
It's like, man, they got offset on their rim, like, to go offset. Holy crap. All right, let's start this bad boy up. Ooh, boy, that thing's loud. Hear that turbo? That going. I'm, I'm showing up in old first gen. That church's really nice. Though. I love to have me a mega cab. Like, a big thing. All right, so we'll try to get as close as we can. That. Yeah, so we're gonna have to. We have to use a get a winch. I don't have one on here, but I'm pretty sure I can maneuver this winch under here. Do this. What well, thing sounds so good? Oh my gosh! We gotta get my pressure straps off. We are good to go. Let's get this bad boy up here. Time to get the winch. All right, so we got this bad boy up on here. I mean, haul of this truck, you almost need a daggone wide load thing. Look, on, look at this. Like, these tires wouldn't hardly even fit on there. Now, I had to get over a little bit because there was a little collision issue. So that's kind of why it's not centered. But look at that thing. This thing's a monster. I really do like this truck, though. I mean, I think you should have a bowling ball up in there or something. Like, you ever want to hear somebody say that? Uh, let's go ahead and put the trailer up and let's head on back to the shop. Make sure that's good. Okay, we're good. Head on to the shop. I'm probably going to leave this up with no, because I got I got another thing I got to haul. Oh, with that gone. Um, we might actually, we could just scroll to, just take a stroll to town. Okay, right. Hey, what if that charger's still there? Wait, no, this is not going to be the way. Okay. Um, where is the... So I get lost. It's terrible. Now we're going to take a lift up here. Yeah. Nope. We went the wrong way. Um, to get to the shop. But I do want to see that Charger is still there. And I'm going to park over here. And see if they're home because I'm going to try to buy it again. Please be home. I guess I should just let that run. In. Oh man, I need this in my life. Hello, anybody there? All right, well, that's a rip. Okay, nobody's home still. Looks like it's even got a flat tire on it. I need this car. About to just put it on, like, leave this truck here and be like, you know, hey, um, I left your, uh, <laughs> um, I left you a truck and I took your car. I think we'll just go on this way. Here we go. I don't even know what we have to pick up and haul for the next one. I don't want any branches. So I need like, how do I, you know, like, did your truck have a cracked windshield when you, when you, like, no, but like, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, I think one of our straps came loose. We just need to be careful. All right, so I was looking at the transmission and everything, and I found out what, well, I, I mean, I'm guessing. I'm going to see he's trying to do a burnout and went full sin too much. I mean, he's, he's got some, like, meaty tires on back here. And it looks like the, the dry shaft is twisted. It looks like it basically sheared the yoke off at the end of the like transmission housing, like completely sheared it, everything. So definitely going to have a new dry shaft and transmission. Uh, probably need to look at the rear end and the yoke down here at the rear end and everything, make sure it's okay, because uh, it might damage that. I mean, he must have been like rolling. Probably just getting down on it. I'm sure it, it sounds like it has like a lope tune, so it's probably you know fully built. Just a trans ain't gonna work. But we're not get really getting paid until we fix and everything. So it'll probably be about a five thousand dollar job, and that's not including transmission, diesel transmissions. You know, man, you could put ten, fifteen grand in the transmission all day long, and you know. So we'll at least make five grand off of that job. So that's not too bad. We'll go ahead and park this truck, and uh, I'll go over uh, what we need to do with some of the other ones. So let's put this over here. Oh, big announcement. The new shop, I said that I was going to end up uh, modeling the new shop and everything to have it built. 
Well, it's just life has just been so super busy from uh for me right now, and I just don't have the time. So, I actually have the person that's teaching me how to model and stuff is actually going to be building just shop for me, and he does like amazing work. And I kind of told him what I wanted, and I was like, just you know you go for it i was like just make sure it's you know nothing normal it's badass and he's been sending me some pictures and stuff he's done he's been doing it's going to be insane you, you've never seen a shop like this ever done like when it gets done i cannot wait but anyways uh this truck right here we we're going to be putting a eight inch lift on a friend uh different rims of course you know bigger rims tires color matching the uh mirror mirrors this truck is awesome i mean check this out it's got the electric steps absolutely love that so definitely going to be working on that this one right here all we have to do is kind of a little squat uh we have to uh change the wrap on this it's wrapped basically he said leave it up to me just whatever apparently he probably gets it wrapped like all the time and then this right here, we got to put a ranch hand bumper on it, and we're going to put, uh, I think the guy was wanting, like, some octane rims and stuff. It is his welding truck. He said he just wants to kind of, you know, pimp it out a little bit more, but I absolutely love this. Oh, and he wants uh, updated uh, mirrors. Like, he don't want the old school, you know, and he wants his old peepaw uh, steps off of it. So, that's what we have. We have three trucks we got to do. Lift should be coming in for this soon. Everything so we're gonna be busy at the shop and of course we have some stuff we gotta haul and everything. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a short one, but hey, you know, we, we just out here trying to grind and everything. Anyways guys, hope everybody's having a blessed day. I wanna go in here and figure out what our next uh haul is gonna be. Also, got some parts coming in for the CMI so we can actually get that on the road because I'd rather haul on that then you know this especially when it's like bigger loads and stuff because it says it's gonna be an oversized load so i don't know if it's like semi oversized or tr this you know pickup oversized either way i'll pull it as long as dot don't like like hate me oh yeah spongebob is over here pipping oh yeah we got to fix that too i want to make the good cart better Go golf cart that's that ah. <sighs> it's one of those days